Entry first and hailing from Dillery, New Hampshire. Weighing in at 250 pounds. The equalizer, Todd Sobo. And here comes the man who just over one year ago was WAW champion heading into Legacy 2006, where he would lose that WAW title to the GOAT with the most, the man who has reigned as WAW champion for well over a year now, Freakin' Flax, and Todd Sobel seeks to get the gold back here tonight in the Legacy Flashback match, our main event here tonight for the WAW championship. Well, let's take it out to the introduction of our champion, Freakin' Flax. Georgia, weighing in at 150 pounds, the WAW champion and the GOAT with the most, Freakin' Flax! And here comes Freakin' Flax, the GOAT with the most, the WAW champion. Here he comes, making his way out towards the ring, much to the delight of the fans and well, even former WAW personality Bianca Wild, who happens to be in attendance here tonight. She seems to be getting down to that theme song. Good for her. Freaking Fox here coming out to the ring tonight to defend the WAW Championship in front of this crowd here tonight at Murphy's Gym, which uh, every once in a while, like I just said, includes former WAW personalities. He gave their can go to them 50 cents to get in. And here comes a man who was a big fan of the canned foods. Freaking Flax loves himself some cold canned ravioli I've been able to see every once in a while. If you get up real close, sometimes you might see tomato sauce right around those goat lips. Loves that. Loves himself some cold ravioli. I have been a champion before. But getting back on subject here, the WAW Championship is on the line here in our main event. Freaking Flax stomping on the toes to start, start this match off here. One of these two men will be responsible for somehow thwarting off the challenge of five challengers next week. And we don't even know how these five, which are Captain Vincent Zarello, Katie Doobie, Epo, Skylar Phoenix, and Joey Staples, we don't know how these five are gonna get WAW Championship shots next week, but we do know that all five earn their shots with victories here tonight on Aftermath. And the winner of tonight's match, be it Todd Sopel or the current champion, Freakin' Flash, will somehow have to take on these five competitors next week. Stomp on the toes once again, into a side headlock by Freakin' Flash, into the corner, side headlock takeover by Freakin' Flash, into a pin by Sopel too, and Flash rolls himself out with a kick out. Back into a side headlock, into a pin again. Two, and once again, Todd Sopel does not get the three. Sopel now grabs Flax by the back of the leg, trying to get him up. And Flax gets himself over, lands kind of funny, up on his feet, trying for the toss, selling no, e break. Sopel with the e break on freaking Flax and kick right to the face. Kind of more like a leg takedown. He springs a leg right in your chest and takes you down. Not really too much of an impact move there. Just a, a move to take you off your feet and bring you down. And it does the job. Todd Sopel now with an Irish whip sends Freakin' Flax into the corner. And we get a knee right in the corner to the face of Freakin' Flax by Todd Sopel. Take over suplex there. Sopel now go for the cover, and we only get two as Freakin' Flax gets his shoulder up. How fast is Freakin' Flax? Freakin' Flax now being brought up to his feet by Todd Sopel. Sopel now setting up for a suplex. He's got him up. Stalling that suplex before dropping him down. Sopel using his power advantage to hold Flax up for the stall, but he only gets a count of two. Irish whip there. Flax catches Sobel with two boots to the midsection. And we get a... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
by freaking Flax out of the corner. What a maneuver there by the WAW champion. Trackbuster quickly stops the offense of Flax, and we only get a two count there as freaking Flax hit the Hurricane Rana, but was quickly stopped in his tracks with a scrap buster. Flax, get up! Kick it Come on, Flax! You do it! Todd Sopo hammering away at Freakin' Flax in the corner, dropping him down. Skidding the bottom of his foot right across the forehead of Freakin' Flax. Nick Breaker takes down the WAW champion. Broke the cover again, and once again, only a near fall for Todd Sopo as Freakin' Flax gets his shoulder up in just the right amount of time. Irish whip. Sopo going for a gorilla press, but Flax works his way over. Sunset flip attempt. Sopo not being brought down. He's got Flax up. Oh, and a spine buster. Front spine buster there by Todd Sopo. Sopo now stepping through. What the hell's he doing here? Sopo locking the arms in. Oh, what a move there! By Todd Sopo on freaking Flax. Curve to lunch, anybody. Sopo continuing to hammer away on freaking Flax, but Flax now trying to get some offense, trying to chop down those big legs. Shoved off the rope, ducks the clothesline, and he takes the leg of Todd Sopo out from underneath him. Freaking Flax now gonna go for the figure Flax. Could he be able to get the victory here with a submission on Todd Sopo? Will Sopo tap out? Freaking Flax has the figure Flax on. Sopo trying to fight his way out of it. Locked in the figure Flax, his shoulders went down. Almost fell victim to a pinfall. Shoulders down again, two, and Sopo once again gets his shoulders up. Sopo rolling over, turning the advantage to himself, but still putting pressure on his own legs. Sopo freeing himself from that maneuver there. Freaking Flax now. Trying to go underneath, and he gets a half sunset flip. He just didn't get the flip, it was a sunset. Flax now charging at Sopo. Sopo catches him, puts him in the corner, but catches a boot to the face, and Flax Master out of the corner by freaking Flax. Freaking Flax needed that there. He hit the Flax Master on Todd Sopo. This could be all if he can make it over there. Sopo, though, starting to start. I don't know if this could be all. Flax taking a little too much time, and Sopo had a foot on it once. Sopo had a foot on the ropes at one. Freaking Flax in total disbelief. He thought the Flax master was going to put him away, but it did not. Which means the match is still going on. Freaking Flax looking to continue his reign as WAW champion against the very man he defeated for the gold just over a year ago at Legacy last April. Strike punch there, back Sopo off the ropes. He's wobbly, oh and a close line, takes freaking Flax down. Sopo now picking Flax up to his feet. Sending him off the ropes with an Irish whip. Flax ducks a clothesline. Ducks another clothesline attempt. Gets caught, and we get a head scissors takeover by freaking Flax this time. Hurricane runner earlier, head scissors this time. Freaking Flax now trying to ride the offensive wave, but he catches an elbow to the side of the face from Todd Sopel. Ducks a clothesline. Neck breaker on Todd Sopel. Takes the big man down. Come on, Flax! You can do it! 
Sopel now being hammered away by freaking Flash. Sopel now, Irish Whip sends Flax off the rope. Flax ducks yet another clothesline attempt. Oh, but he doesn't duck the boot right to the face. And we get a set on splash attempt, but freaking Flax moved out of the way. Freaking Flax with a shot and a DDT. Dropping down Todd Sopel there with that DDT. Freaking Flax now heading into the corner, heading up to the top rope. No way. Montezuma, oh, wait a second. Montezuma sent on. We get a cover. Two. And we only get two. Two. You're right. You're right. Sorry, man. He's big. Freaking Flax fighting very hard and very tough to keep his WAW championship here on Aftermath. Great Equalizer! This has got to be all. The Great Equalizer. It has got to be all. We get a cover. And freaking Flax kicks out in the nick of time. Todd Sobel hitting the Great Equalizer. And freaking Flax counting out, kicking out, excuse me. And not many people have ever done that. Trying for a second great equalizer. No. Flax off the ropes. Oh, he takes out the referee. No, not again, you alright? Freaking Flax taking out the referee there with a clothesline. Todd Sopel now up on his feet. Flax turns around. Sopel tries for a back clothesline. Flax catches him. He's got him. Toss Salad. This could be all, but the referee is knocked down after freaking Flax. Took him out with a clothesline inadvertently. Flax definitely has the match won, but there is no okay, referee to count the pin. Oh. Referee trying to come over to count it. We got one. We got two. And Todd Sopel gets a shoulder up. Sopel getting that shoulder up. Much help from the masked referee being knocked out by freaking Flax. Sopel now going after Flax. Flax going after Sopel. Both men battling. Flax coming off the ropes. Could it be Flax Master? No, Sopel ducks. This is how you do it, Flax. What do we got here? And we got a Flax Master of his own. Sopel not quite hitting all that. Wait a second. Skyler Phoenix is here, sitting on the ring apron, and there's nothing Sopel can do about it. If he doesn't touch anybody, he hasn't done anything wrong. What is that small package? This could be all. Two. Oh, and Sopel kicks out in just the nick of time. As Skyler Phoenix, wait a second. Both women here attacking Skyler Phoenix. Skyler Phoenix beat Paul Clement in like three minutes earlier. Skyler Phoenix continuing. Wait a second, Sopel had a hand on the ropes. It's the referee caught him. Skyler Phoenix and Paul Clement going at it on the floor. Look at Flax going after and he hits the referee once again. Skyler Phoenix continuing with Paul Clement on the floor. Super taking him right in the side of the head. Todd Sopel. He just leveled freaking Flax. Sopel now going over to talk some trash to Skylar Phoenix. Skylar Phoenix about to get on the ring apron, but does not. Freaking Flax now in the front corner. Boots in the midsection. Two boots. Punch to the face. And another one. He's got Sopel. He's got him. Cross Salad. Once again, Cross Salad on the Todd Sopel. Freaking Flax now. He's trying to move. Sopel, Sopel trying to move away. He's got a cover. His foot's on the rope. Oh, wait a second. Skylar Phoenix throws the foot off the bottom rope. And freaking Flax retains the WAW Championship here in the main event of Aftermath. The very first Aftermath of 2007. And freaking Flax continues his reign as WAW Champion. One of the three. Freaking Flax, Todd Sopel is outraged. His foot was legitimately on the ropes, but the master of the did not see it as Skylar Phoenix moved the foot off the bottom rope. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hey, wait a second, what's this? We got the music of WWE President Miss Moody Star. She's been all over the place here tonight, Miss Moody Star. Been all over the show making and wheeling deals. Let's take it out to the president. And next week, those five competitors will get their chance. In next week's main event, six-person elimination tag and match versus freaking Blacks. Yeah! Wait, how about for the title? Not just for my body. I mean, I know it's nice, but... All right. For Freakin' Blacks' WWE Championship title. Who are the five? Who are the five? No, not high five. Who are the five in the match next week? Five people who won tonight. Maybe you want to review the tape? I don't have a VCR handy, we'll see. There was... I want one, man. You want one? Yeah. So I can be seeing you next week? Could be seeing you next week. New champion could be hit right here. As long as it's not like... Wait a second. Scott Flow on the freaking flex by Skylar Phoenix. And I think that's just a message to the WAW champion. Nothing personal. It's all about the gold. And it could be over as soon as that. Miss Moody Star announcing that it will be a six person elimination tag in match next week for the WAW championship. Freaking flex. Captain Vincent Torello. Katie Dooley. Hepo. Joey Staples. And Skylar Phoenix will all battle for the WWE Championship next week here on Aftermath.